It's time for a fist kill mode. Yes! <laughs> you and me, babe. You and me, babe. You just love the best life. You. We're ready to go. <laughs> I have three kick plates. I have tons the fairy happiness. Uh, this is already bisque, and then these here are 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 rare to go. So um, these that have the different color, you can see that they will dry out and they will be white, like because that's the way they are when they're well dry. And um, so they're not ready yet to be fired. They still have some drying out to do. But all this stuff in the back that's tall. Tall stuff goes in first. So in order to help with the uh, circulation of the heat. So um, so yeah, I'll be working with tall stuff here, tall stuff here, and then we'll figure out where these go and maybe give them a little bit more time to dry out. Yes. So excited! <laughs> and bumped his head but he was soft enough that nothing broke so the leaf didn't break the flower didn't break this one bended a little bit more but it didn't break so I'm gonna put him in the wet box I'm gonna stop messing with him and I'm gonna put him in the wet box. He needs some water. I'm gonna squirt him. I'm gonna squirt him and put him in the wet box and so many ways. And lose things. That is the hardest part about pottery. There are so many ways that you can lose all of your work. That's the hardest part. For me. Okay, so this pot from the outside to the top see how it's completely different color here than it is here this is almost white this is not anywhere close this pot is not ready it's still too wet you can also tell by the temperature difference like if 
I have a pot. This pot I know is bone dry. I know this pot is bone dry. It's a completely different temperature than the one that is not. So, yeah, I don't like so. Do we wait? Do we bake them in the oven to get the water out? Since it's gonna be raining this week, do we just sweet it up? I don't know. Uh, I need to talk to Tim. I do have some things that I can do. Um, some of this needs a little bit of scrubby sanding on these three. I could probably level some bottoms on those that are bone dry. Um, make sure I don't have any gradu issues. Um, all that is Tim's, so it's perfect. Uh, and I could go through my kiln shells. three days um and we're ready um yeah we got all of this here and then we got a shelf load of bowls over there um so <laughs> loading the kiln it's a puzzle in the case in mine and Superman's relationship uh, we were both right <laughs> so he said hun it's time we need to do a bisque kiln I said hun I don't I don't know that we have enough to do a bisque kiln um, I think we need to, I mean, I think we need more stuff to go in it. Um, and, uh, we were both right. Uh, it is not lipping full. It is full enough, but it's, it didn't, it, 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 yeah, these, all three of these needed their own shelf and I don't have enough height to get this one in by just about that much. Now, the way I loaded the bottom shelf, I had a lot of extra height um, because I figured that those stacks that you may have seen in the time lapse would um, fill up the bottom shelf and they didn't. Um, so, I could probably unload it and get that in. <laughs> but anybody that thinks that's going to happen, <laughs> they'll know me very well. Uh, so we're going to fire it like it is. This will be left for another day. And it would still take five or six more fairy houses easily, easily take. 
five or six more fairy houses on this top shelf. So, um, uh, but you know, I put the ones that are the most wet are on the top shelf. So we're going to let them dry until I'm really comfortable with their dryness level. And then I can just pile them right back in there and get it, get it to get it fired. Um, oh, that to say it's not going to fire tomorrow. Um, which is usually, I usually pack it and then fire it the very next day. And it's it's not going to fire tomorrow. So, when these dry out in a day or two, it's been really wet. So, when these dry out in a day or two, or, um, you know, whatever. When these get good and bone dry, then we'll fire the, fire the, this. But until then, we will be looking forward to getting this stuff out of Biscuit and, and, and getting it glazed. So, cannot wait to see how the cuteness fires up. I just have to fix that little snafu over there. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. I just know he's going to make it because I love him so much. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. Sure, um, but not actually start an actual kiln load. I wonder if I could set these on top of my heater. That would be a fun thing to do. We'll set those on top of the heater and see what happens. Sure, why not? That'll help them dry out. Uh, okay. That'll probably make me knock them over too. I'll probably run into the heater at some point. It's probably not a good idea. Thank you.